Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm Jennifer. And we're back again at Epcot. Everywhere. This time it's Jennifer wants to see the new fountain. Well, For the fountain. health and safety of everyone, on, please yes. wear a face yeah, covering at all times, except when That's actively okay. eating or drinking while stationary. Wash your hands often and thoroughly. Cover your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing, and maintain physical distancing. Thank you for your cooperation. All right. <laughs> Those little you found, they placed the uh, glass tribute to the original fountain. Right. Let's a uh, quick look. for a spaceship or for the whole five minute wait. And you see Jennifer on her phone. Shut up. That's what she always does. That's why her phone's had 16%. It's not at 16%. Uh, here's the really busy Epcot. There's a squirrel falling up the palm tree. It's nice and quiet, cool. Yeah. Very nice. It's like another exciting night of lots of rides. What do you want to do next? I think we're talking about uh, maybe Soren, see if the Soren. great big moth is attacking. Great big moth is Try and knock down the Eiffel Tower this time. Yeah. Theory. This is going to be like a quick trip tonight, so don't expect we're going to do a small video. Not much on this one, but we're going from Spaceship Earth back to the, the pavilion for the food, the tasting area, you know, try something, some more. So we are here back at the Millennial Pavilion at Epcot for the Taste of Food and Wine Festival. We have Mark and Greg, Greg here with us who are visiting. Um, we're staying at Pop Century. And much thanks to them because that allowed us to get reservations for the park too. Yes. We love them. The much coveted reservations. Exactly. So I got the pierogi from Poland. And it's got onions on the side. And then just got the lobster mac and cheese. No, nope, that's no. Oh, the chicken. chicken and regular gourmet. And regular gourmet mac and yes. cheese. Mark took the. Uh, you got the, the lobster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put the lobster mac and cheese and the buffalo chicken mac and cheese. We just finished with the uh, the Millennial Pavilion, and uh, I think we all had something. Um, Mark had the. What did you have? I had four things. I had the fisherman's pie. I had something from Greece that I can't pronounce. Yeah. Starts with an S. So it starts with an S. And then I had the buffalo mac and cheese and the seafood mac and cheese and a citrus IPA of some kind. And how was it? Delicious, actually. It's very, very good. I had the citrus IPA along with the buffalo mac and cheese and it was quite tasty. And I had the pierogies. It was very good. Uh, it was a little tough, but otherwise I thought the flavor was excellent. So. One thing was noticed was uh, we're sitting at a table. Oh yeah, <laughs> cast member comes up. Do you talk about the cast member? Yeah, I go there, stands here for like five minutes staring, and then says to Jennifer to put her mask back on, but the funny thing is you're at a table with, you're, a, bottle of water. with a bottle of water. It's like, uh, this yeah, that was the rules, but I guess now you can't yeah, sit <laughs> with your food and have your, Okay, so, interesting. Yeah. We're at Japan, and I got the sushi flower pot, which is salmon sushi. Hold that up. It's a little bitty thing, kind of small. Hold it up higher. I'm not impressed with the size. The other thing that they're doing is the 
can't see it from here, but they're running a boat on the World Showcase Lagoon. They weren't doing that a couple weeks ago, so at least those were back. Well, we're on our way out of Epcot. This is our little quick trip to meet up with a couple friends, yeah. have some more food, even though I had the same thing, but it was good. Yeah, I had a look. I had two different, two new things. So we're they're both really good. I thought the pierogies were, were better than the, the sushi thing. Yes, tomorrow we're gonna be at Magic Kingdom. No, it's magical place on earth. Yes, sleeping in, but then go to Magic Kingdom. Okay. There's also a storm moving in. If you can see the lightning yeah. over the side. Of course, it's not going to be anything when yeah, I show it. it's not going to lightning when you want it to lightning, no. There we go. So they had the new fountain area. Still fenced in at the entrance of Epcot. I was just saying it'll be really awesome when that, when that opens, when they take down the walls and everything like that. So, uh, Jeff was saying you could see it from the monorail, but the monorail's not running to Epcot. Which kind of sucks for the resort people who stay in monorail to get monorail rides. Oh well.